Hey, hey, hey. We are live. Got it working. Got the new mic installed. We're running. We're live. I think we're good. What's up, guys? This is Patrick Jensen, and I'm just going to sketch today. Um, there's no structured format for this. Um, I'm just going to have a little bit of fun, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy it. So, this is my second stream on Twitch. Um, in case you're watching this on YouTube later, thank you for watching. And, um, uh, yeah, so we're just going to... We're just gonna get started here. You know what? I'm gonna turn off, uh, take these off, cause that is frustrating. Okay. <laughs> I think it sounds good. You guys let me know if, uh, if the audio isn't working and I will adjust it accordingly. So, yeah. But um, uh, last time the audio was a little bit, of, a little bit quiet. I had an, a different microphone that I usually use um, to record piano with um, and it's great for instruments and stuff but it's not good for for vocals so that's why I was a little quiet uh, but I have a new microphone and so I think it'll work it'll work much better um, yeah and let's see what else so I'm working towards getting more structured kind of classes and stuff going. Um, and I guess structured content where I might cover certain things um, and dive into why I paint the way I do. Um, and dive into map painting tutorials or concept art or how to do environment design, things like that. Um, so I have, I'm working on a kind of a curriculum of stuff for that. But um, right now, um, I'm just making sure the setup is good. Um, each time I do this, I'm going to make a little change here and there um, and, until this is like fully operational and up and running because um, this is a new process for me of, um, of streaming live. So... But I'm excited because I love doing this stuff and hopefully um, you guys will benefit from it as well and maybe learn something and share what you're working on, uh, which I would love to see. And hopefully grow and learn together kind of thing. So anyway, that's the goal. For right now, we're just going to paint. And see what we come up with. Now, right now I have one viewer. Uh, hello, viewer. <laughs> so, um, if I'm a little quiet, uh, it's just because I'm kind of getting going. And, um, and uh, I'm sure I'll start to chatting with people soon as they if they stumble on this and say hi so but um but yeah if you're watching this later on youtube um you can find my uh twitch address right there it should be down there on the lower right um twitch.tv slash metavisuals and i'm gonna try to paint there um at least well, definitely once a week, so hopefully more than that, but we'll see what time allows and stuff, so. Let's see what we got here. So you can watch on there live and ask questions. Um, or uh, you can watch on YouTube later and and do that. Let's see. So right now I'm going to paint kind of a cavernous um, underground um, 
catacomby looking tomb place um, from scratch. And we're going to see how we can, if we can make something kind of fun. Um, this is a piece for fun. I'm just sketching here on Friday. Uh, had the day off, so I thought I'd come on here, say hi, and paint. Don't know quite what my composition and stuff will be, but I'm just getting, I know I want an entrance to something here that's mysterious and grand. And you'll kind of see this process of how I find shapes um, and explore texture and composition. This is just one way of working that I like to do, which is throw paint around and uh, see what happens. So you're going to see what it's like to do this. And hopefully it'll be kind of fun for you guys. Um, I'm looking for. There we go. So maybe there's some kind of doorway. I like the light coming in through this little tunnel here, and um, we can always change the color of things later. I'm just playing around right now um, to see what we can do. But let's get let's get a little doorway right here, and I'm liking this one for just the overall architecture style style. So, let's see. So we could have two pillars there. Um, and let's... Let's do something like that. Grab that hot light there. Cool. So let's try that, and then since we have a couple values to work with right now and some color, um, we can grab from the canvas as paint and, and stuff. But uh, I want a floor, and I want that kind of to be a cooler light. Not that cool, <laughs> but. Uh, because it's very orange in here right now, so actually anything we add is going to be pretty cool. There we go. So we have this like path coming this way. Um, and maybe... Break, no, yeah, sure. Coming out like that. Cool. There could be a drop off right here. Would that be fun? So I'm just hitting this edge with a little more contrast and that kind of pops pops out that plane. Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm not worrying about perspective either at this point. Um uh, because we can change that as we go. I'm also thinking of changing the composition right now. Um, maybe we do something like that. And I'm going to take all these guys. Um, so I have a clean one like that. And let's take this. Okay. And we're just going to change the perspective on that. Make it a little more epic. And it's looking good. Get a little three point perspective on that guy. Nice. Okay. Now we started this five minutes ago. And um, it's already looking kind of fun. I'm digging the reds. <laughs> but it'll be fun to see where the palette can go as we develop this further. 
Um, let's see. And we'll just see how far we can get in about a half hour for this one. Then we could do something else. So. Let's see. Let's finish off this path. And maybe we get some kind of foreground thing here. Bring out all that back. Now my brush speed is slowing down because the canvas is getting pretty huge. So, I mean, huge for while streaming. So, <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna bring this back down a little bit. Um, sure. Back down to HD and keep keep going. And let me just check something. We have that. Okay, cool. And we got that. And I'm just going to uh, hide that. Guy. And let me just check something. Ooh. Don't want to do that. <laughs> hide video preview. There we go. I don't need to see myself over there. <laughs> We're always learning. Always learning. Okay. So, boom. And perfect. Okay. Cool. So that's done. So we'll continue. Error. There we go. Sweet. All right. So let's keep going with this guy. Now, I want there to be a pool of light coming from the top and kind of hitting the ground here. And and then bouncing light back up on this guy, but also having the top planes of this structure kind of being hit and stuff. So um, let's see if we can get something fun here. And then uh, work on the like surrounding rocks and things. Um, let's go ahead and just get this dark, and see where this goes. For now, we can change it. Actually, ooh, you know what? Um, what if? This would be kind of fun. What if this kind of goes into shadow here and then there's stuff behind it? Um, yeah, let's see. How about that? Oof. Be good. Um, paint line, new layer, and we'll get a little textured with this stuff. Okay. Might be a little too textured, but let's see. Ooh, you know what? Let's do our paint two. Really name these better. Paint two. You know, you name it months and months ago for. While you're doing a, a, uh, a task, and then you totally forget to go back and name it. But I guess it's hard to name paintbrushes when they're digitally, huh? When they're digital. I'm just rambling now. <laughs> so you can see we're kind of making A, um, a deeper space back here. Pushing these guys.
I could have some just low hanging kind of cooler mist here on the on the sides of the path, you know. I'll just indicate those guys for now. And um Thinking. What if this thing goes back into space? And it just keeps going and going and going back into the distance. All right, you'll see. So we'll just pull out some of those planes of the building and and let's see if, uh, okay, cool. <laughs> just checking something again. All righty. And it's not quite the, okay. There we go, get that path coming. Get it darker here so the mist behind it reads. And there we go. Okay, let's work on this peachy background. Um, <laughs> we can, uh, let's mess with some overall adjustments and then we can keep refining and stuff. So I'm just gonna play a little bit uh, with these colors. And see if we can get it into a, a different vibe and stuff. Uh, the warm's nice, but I'm trying to think of the the mystery behind this place, and um, as if maybe you just stumbled on it as you're traveling through um, these caves and stuff. So, um, so I'm just playing playing with a couple adjustment layers. This is a uh, color balance. And just changing this shadow color. Ooh. Shadow color until we find something nice. That was actually pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. And what if we... Um, actually, that's good for now. Let's do a couple just soft light layers. See if we can get some... Happy accidents, that's what we're looking for. So I'm almost creating that sense of you're going from a very okay place to a very intimidating place um, with this kind of cool to warm. Um, progression. So let's see. Got three viewers now. Hey guys. That's awesome. No mistakes. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> so if you guys are just joining, um, I'm just sketching today. There's no real structure. Um, hey, Ninja Monkey. I'm going to just be painting this kind of catacomb place um, that's underground, subterranean, little moody piece. And just see where we can, what, what, what we can do in a half hour here. So we've spent about 15 minutes on this so far. And, um, and we're just going to see what we can do in a half hour and then we'll move on to something else because uh, 
just want to get a couple sketches in today. Um, let's see. You've been waiting all week. Awesome. Oh, thanks, guys. I appreciate you, you coming back. <laughs> So I'm working on this path here, and I kind of want these pools of light. So we're just going to dial this up a little bit and get something maybe around in here. Going back. Smudge that out. <laughs> Thanks, Ninja Monkey. <laughs> I hope you leave and get some some lunch later or or breakfast if you're uh, in that time zone. Let's see. Okay, you know what would be fun? Let's uh, let's get our super cool rake brush and. Um, work on some of these forms. So this is like a path that's coming up from the from down here. We have this fog uh, kind of coming down as if like in this photo here um, there's maybe a pool of water down there and this mist kind of rising up. So that's what I'm gonna try to sell down here. So um, this path is dropping off here. Um, so we're just gonna get some some highlights on the edge and right now it's like a little bit too warm of a value, so we'll just add some blue and green, take down the red, and we can cool it down. Um, and we'll just keep pushing up some of those values as if this is a, a cliff drop off. Maybe get some of those warm hits over here. Okay. Nice. So we're just going to work on the rocks and structure around here. It's nine at night for you. Oh, that's nice. Where are you from, Ninja Monkey? We're nine at night. Are you in Europe? Okay, and then let's just uh, get some streaks of this road here. There we go. And I'm thinking about the composition. Let's go ahead and just crop this guy in a little bit. We'll just keep it uh, panorama, -like, or you know, widescreen like that. I wasn't sure where the composition would go. Um, so I usually make my canvas a little bit bigger and then kind of crop in. Um, so let's see how this goes. We're bringing some of that fog back there. So there we go. England, nice. Okay, this uh, architecture is very shabby. Okay, let's just indicate a couple more things. Let's get right at the base of these pillars, because I'm liking how that's looking. Okay, we've spent 20 minutes on this, so let's see if we can just wrap it up and make it look kind of uh, consistent. And I need to resolve some of this and what's going on over here. Uh, so I don't know if I can do it, but, uh, we'll see. We could just leave it. It doesn't have to be all figured out in this short amount of time. Uh, 
Okay. Let's see. Okay, let's just grab some of that. Yeah, we're just creating some foggy areas back here and punching out some negative shapes to kind of pull some more architecture in here. Um, and let's look at this guy for some inspiration here. So maybe what we do, we'll go ahead and get our lasso and just get some of this going on. There we go. Noise is following me. Hey, thanks for the follow. Appreciate it. If that is very shabby. Okay, come on. Yeah, come on. There we go. All right. Okay, we're gonna. Oops. Maybe we get. Um, I may not like this, but <clears throat> we'll see. So right now I'm kind of creating an entryway as if, uh, you know, you're rounding that corner and you're in that tunnel over here. So let's see. Oh gosh. You know what? Let's just do. Um, hmm? Where'd it go? Um, yeah, this guy. We need texture fast. That'll help sell it. <laughs> All right. So since I've loosely indicated kind of the values that I want and stuff, I can just go ahead and put some texture over it um, just to, you know, mess with it a little bit, mess up the shapes and the colors and stuff and keep your eye moving so it's not hanging out in these areas. Uh, let's see. Okay, you know what? Let's make a new layer, oops. A new adjustment layer. And let's play with our values a little bit. Let's get darker. And see if we can tweak these colors into a fun place. Now I don't want it everywhere, so I'm gonna invert that and then paint it where I want it. So I'm gonna just bring out the edges a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do this again. I'm looking for happy accidents. Um, I'm messing with the colors a little bit, just to create some flow. And then uh, you'll see you'll see the difference when we turn them on and off. Because the whole piece was getting a little bright and kind of chalky. So what you can do is just do these these adjustments and you paint them in where you want them. So I invert that again and I'm just bringing that in towards there. Okay. A new layer and we'll do a uh, hard light we'll get that red too much there we go okay happy accidents that's right and I'll catch up on your chat guys in just a, in a second um, and we can go back through some of that those changes, but I'm just trying to wrap up this piece. So give me a few minutes and then we'll, we'll, we'll chat and stuff. 
Let's see, because I'm trying to finish this in the next five minutes. Oh man, so fun. Uh, let's see. Where's that waterfall picture? Okay. Okay, let's see. Get some tendrils. Where's my tendrils? Cloud tendrils. Boom. Those guys are fun. And you know what? I don't like it up here. I don't like it up there. I'm gonna take that off and turn that down. Cool. And what if there are some torches? So we'll set this to hard light, set our brush to color dodge, get a nice orangey orange, and get some torches in there. Okay. And maybe there's some things back here. And you know what? We're going to copy everything, paste, buzz, and get a hard light, and bring this guy up. Cool. We could just ping some of these. Uh-huh. Cool. Okay, and then let's just do a couple little things. A few more minutes. Um, someone's asking how long I'm going to stream today. Um, so we've been going for almost a half hour now and I'll probably paint for maybe another hour, uh, right now, but I might come back a little bit later, uh, today. So we will see how it goes. Um, that's the plan for today. So the idea would be this this would be like a really cool statue up there and stuff. Um, it's a little blue down here, but that's okay. Okay, cool. So now I'm just kind of refining some shapes and things um, in these last few moments. Just to try to create a neat little city back there. That was inspired by making some catacombs underground, but I was like, oh, it's got to, how epic can I make it? <laughs> Little city back here. Need something over here to balance what's going on here. So I'm going to just hit some of these guys. Get some of that fog. And then maybe balance this out with just some warm light. Okay.
And then let's just do um, as if the ground's a little bit wet, you know, so you have a little bit of a shimmer. on these guys. And we'll just bring this into that pink. Cool. I think, I think that's all we got for this one. <laughs> Let's see. Should we call it? Yeah. It's pretty good. Yep, we are at the half hour mark. So, let's see. Oh man, can't stop. There we go. Okay. You know, it needs one more thing. Rake. Uh, let's do rake rotation. No, this one. Boom. And right there. There we go. To balance it out. All right. I think that's it. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so that was a half hour sketch. Um, if you missed the beginning of it, um, you can watch it on YouTube, of course. Um, I'll always be posting these videos to, uh, to YouTube afterwards. Um, but Let's, uh, let's call it there. I'm going to save this out. Um, JPEG. Call us catacombs. We'll keep painting, so stick around if you want to. Stick around. Um, catacombs. And we'll save a JPEG. Awesome. So there's the 30-minute version. And let's go ahead and look through these layers um, in case you came in late and you can see kind of how this evolved, okay? Um, Let's see. So first I started with um, the idea. And I was like, I wanted to paint an underground scene here um, based on like caves and catacombs. And so I was just starting out with a general palette of uh, we are underground. And so there's going to be a lot of rock and stuff. And, and uh, my mind goes straight to yellows and reds. So um, it's what we all kind of think of when we think underground stuff and, you know, tombs and things. You can, of course, pull it in any color uh, based on the mood that you want or based on the rocks that are in there. But um, uh, anyway, I just started with what I know, and then you can always expand and, and exaggerate after that, right? So um, then I created the little opening here and pulled this up, and we have a little path. So basically, I'm just trying to make an entry for this, this giant uh, tomb or... Um, palace or you know civilization down here under the earth and stuff um, so then I warped it into perspective we got this guy and now I'm just expanding the canvas because I'm creating a new composition and stuff so um, so here we are just kind of filling it out and um, and then I add a little bit of value adjustments because I could keep going here but it's limited in, in its kind of colors and stuff so added this guy to kind of punch up some of the reds and saturation. And then I was thinking, this is a little too limiting right now. I could stick with a, like, um, kind of what's in this image where we have those rocks on the side, but I was like, no. So I fogged it all out and I was starting to create this area, which is you have these rocks here and you have the fog behind it and having those two things kind of push against, you know, each other, um, space wise creates a lot of depth and stuff. So this was like, oh, I want this, but I want it in more places than that, right? So um, that's when I started painting more and then coming up with the uh, let's expand this structure back into space and have it go further and stuff. So um, 
once we got the general like composition of those elements, I was like, okay, this is this is looking good. Let's continue with this. See where see where it goes. And so we adjusted color um, from here to here to just put it into that. You know, this looks like oh, it's nice, warm, and happy. It's like a fire temple from Zelda or something, right? Um, whereas if we get into here, it's getting a little bit feeling feeling like ooh, you know, where where what is this place? Um, and it's just changing the colors. Um, that's how I feel. Uh, you might feel differently looking at this versus this, but uh, it was just my choice at the time to see like where where could the colors go and stuff, you know. Um, also, this was a little bit too light overall, so we darkened it up. Um, and now, once it got to here, it was like, okay, that's cool. Uh, let's let's like push it further and see. Uh, you know, we got to keep painting because otherwise, you know, this is not enough. Maybe for a thumbnail, but you know. Uh, we had 30 minutes to kill, so um, this is just refining, adding a little pools of light on the on the road here, um, getting some more texture in there, and then just painting more, and then we got here. Now um, this was just a foreground element to kind of bring your eye in, because you know here we have a lot of empty space over here, which we could fill with other stuff, but I was like uh, maybe if we just get a nice, you know, strong silhouette of a, a foreground kind of arch there that would be better so I uh, tried that and then these three guys were kind of bringing it down into that darker um, darker place and stuff so we could then pop these the lights add a bit more um, and overall this is looking a little chalky and that's when it gets a little desaturated and just um, you know it's nice but uh, I wanted it to be a little bit more punchy for you guys so <laughs> so I did that and then added the glow here and on the fog to kind of bring some more color into the intro or into the focus point which is this this entryway here um, added the mist little torches and then um, added a couple hits here and there and then these final little touches which are just kind of balancing things so when you look at the image um, without them it's a little bit too easy of a read you're just here and here and it's just not finished um, if you get a little bit more of that balancing of hits and stuff it gets a little bit more like oh this path is going out here that's why I put that kind of hit there and these ledges are kind of mimicking what's going on here so that was the idea around those guys um, but again this is like the start of you know you should spend you could spend more time on this or you could do less time because you know honestly this is enough of a thumbnail to get a sense of the place right so we were just kind of seeing what we could do uh in 30 minutes and kind of go from there so yeah is that helpful guys hope so <laughs> that was kind of fun piece um so we could keep going with that but we could also like paint something different um so we'll keep this keep this up over here and let's see okay very helpful good glad that's great um let's see what if we what should we paint next i like to start with a um like a 1080p or 1920 by 1080 is this canvas um, just because I've been painting for games and film so much that I'm very accustomed to filling this space um, for your H HDTV or for the movie screen and stuff so that's why I start with this canvas um, but uh, you can always start with whatever kind of canvas size you like yeah what do you guys want to see what should we paint? Abandoned city? That'd be good. Anybody else wanna wanna put a suggestion out there? Abandoned city sounds fun. Like a Fallout-esque. Ooh. Okay. Let's do it. Hickey P. Melon wants an abandoned city. Uh Let's go ahead and paint that. So we'll just do 
we'll do an abandoned city. Let's do it. Okay, now we could pull up some reference, but let's just go ahead and have some fun. Ooh, a forest scene. Bobby Draws says he wants a forest scene. That'd be cool too. Well, let's see. Let's try the city first and then go from there. Oh, Fallout 4 hype. <laughs> let's see. Thinking, thinking, thinking. Hmm. Should we do it in space? Kind of cool. Bannon City. So instantly my mind thinks, um, you know, get your square brush out and paint some vertical things and it looks like buildings, right? <laughs> For a city. And you can always go from there. Um, because most cities have stuff like that. Um, you, of course, yeah, cities. Uh, towns might be lower, uh, less high, but uh, let's just start with this and see where we go. Um, I'm just going to scribble for a little bit and then see if we can come up with something. Um, so this is a fun way to paint that I like to do is you put you put paint down you can always change it later and you just see where it goes what if we take that back there oh let's do spin this to like 12 okay take a selection like that Look at that, got some atmosphere back here or something. Let's get into those greens, nice. I don't know if that's a planet or a nebula, but it could be, could be something along those lines. Actually, you know what, let's make it a planet. Which would be super fun. Now, to get the depth on the city, if it is in space, um, let's make maybe the fog is, um, or what we're going to use to get our depth cue, we'll use some fog, but let's get it into the yellow uh, category, which would be a nice kind of um, contrast to what's in the sky, which will keep it kind of cool in the sky, at least for now. And then see where where we go from there. All right, so we got those guys, and we can make these more futuristic futuristic later. I'm just thinking, how are we going to? What's going to be in the foreground? So, hmm. you know what? Let's full screen this. Have some fun. <laughs> you can see it better. Is that gonna kill my RAM? Nope, maybe. Slowing down a little bit. I'm still learning uh, how much I can push what I'm doing, like canvas size and brush sizes while it's streaming. This is all new to me. So, anyway, if you hear me blabbering about this stuff, that's why, because I'm. I'm using these these early streams to kind of test out the setup and see if I need to make any changes so that you know it's all good for you guys. Um, okay, let's see. Let's get real here. Um, you know what? We need we need our good guy. Where is he? So now I'm thinking we need a we need a foreground kind of cool element here. Um, right now it's looking like a little little garage to me. So maybe maybe we see what that does. Um, let's see. Let's see. Um, 
Oh, no, tool brush. Let's take that off. Nope, that's good. Texture? Yeah. That's cool. Okay, what if we do a little bit of that green? Nice. Okay, and then I have like. This will make sense in a little bit, <laughs> hopefully, of what's what's in my mind. I'm starting to see something, so let's see. Okay, let's do um Somebody's asking about the uh, setup. Um, are you wondering about the Cintiq or... Um, or the, the stream setup? Because it's not much. Uh, I got, uh, I found my green screen and, or like, <laughs> that I used years ago for fun video projects and stuff, but uh, pulled that out from the cubby and works pretty well let's see i'm just uh painting on a laptop right now an asus laptop and you know what we need let's go ahead and uh let's get some reference in here because at this point i know i kind of want some kind of little structure here and then the city in the background and the planet behind that you know um so I was searching for catacombs earlier. Let's do uh, abandoned city. <laughs> Since we are painting one. Um, but what I don't want to do is uh, look at other concept art just so it doesn't influence me. Although that is good to do um, once in a while. But um, I'm just looking for something that kind of hits me for what I'm trying to do. Uh, with this piece and um, uh, and actually abandoned garage has a little bit more there we go of what I want to do with this piece this is awesome what is this someone's uh, artwork cool that's pretty sweet let's take that <laughs> use it for inspiration and color I like the range of color going on and the fog and the hits and this rust is awesome I'll show you how we're going to use some of that uh, in a second this is also pretty cool here too let's use that awesome that might be good for now let's just stay with that um Uh, Bobby Draws on Twitch is wondering, um, how do you make a comfortable digital workspace? Yeah, uh, that's a great question. Because um, when you're painting for hours on end uh, for work and stuff, it is very important to make sure you're comfy. Um, I use a stack of books down here um, that keep my elbow, like, you know, even with the keyboard. And um, I just try to get into a setup where, like, if I just relax, put my arms up, and paint that's like what you want you know um you do want that kind of 
you know, a good posture too, a nice chair and stuff. But um, I, the main part with painting, definitely focus on like where your where your hands are at, um, and your and your elbows and stuff. So your your shoulders are good and you're you're relaxed and stuff. Um, that'll make it so you can paint longer and stuff, um, and not hurt yourself. Because last thing you want to do is hurt yourself. Uh, getting a stress injury or something. <laughs> okay, let's see. I'm going to get some hits here. Um... Let's see. And actually, at this point, we can get our horizon line and get some perspective in here. Um, so let's do that. I'm going to bring it down. Actually, let's go ahead and I'll drop it around here. And then I'll fix, fix everything. And let's say our viewer is right here, OK? So we'll just go ahead and get some lines there for for our guide. Okay, that should be good enough. And we'll turn that down. Great. We'll name it ref. So you guys know what it is. And keep painting. All right. When did I start painting? Did you always just enjoy to paint from a young age or is it quite recent? Ah, it's a great question. Um, I, I drew a lot growing up. Um, but not as much as you would think. I wasn't one of those where I was had a sketchbook all the time and, oh, you know what I need? This guy. Um, I didn't have a sketchbook all the time and drawing all the time. It was more um, when I had some time to kill or I was like done with a test and I turned it over and started drawing. Those kind of moments. Um, I would draw usually my favorite characters and stuff from the cartoons or movies I was watching. And just copying what I was seeing. Also, I'd draw um, stuffed animals. I would pause movies and paint those. Um, yeah. So that kind of went on for a long time until high school. In high school, I took every drawing class I could, or every art class I, I, I could take that they offered um, because I, I was just really getting into it. So, took ceramics and watercolor, and all that kind of stuff. Okay, this guy, you know what? Let's do, um, so high school I started taking it seriously, and then college, uh, I went to art school, so. That was because uh, I wanted to make movies and make games. All right. You know what we're going to do? Because this, we're just having fun here. So let's go ahead and get this guy in here. Um, transform. Flip. Work, sort, and get some help. <laughs> so, using that was just getting some inspiration here for this thing. Actually, 
We put perspective in for a reason. Gotta use it. <laughs> so I'm just dropping this pillar to where I'd like it. Drop this guy. Cut that hole in. Working on the negative space. And maybe it continues to about here. All right, there we go. Now we can work on what this thing is, you know? Maybe it is a little, I, you know, I want it to be like a little shed or something. And we can make it more futuristic and stuff, but right now I'm just focusing on what's, like, if you were to, here, I'll show you. Um, new layer. If you were to have a cube, right? Like this. And then maybe it comes to here, okay? This is our our current, uh, you know, little structure right here, and we can build on that kind of foundation. Um, you know? And this is actually good to do, because um, if we have a pillar here, we would need one here if we're going to echo that kind of structure here. You know what I mean? So you can start with that simple framework. Um, let's turn that down and then we'll refine the painting and you can see how you start with loose stuff and then you can kind of refine that as you go, you know? Because um, it doesn't have to be perfect from the beginning, but it can be. I should, I should mention um, some people start with a better foundation, like a more accurate uh, foundation, like line work or, you know, I'll talk about process a lot while I'm doing these, but, um, let's see, let's get that front plane. This is one way to go about painting that I like to do. Yeah. All right. Okay. Yeah. So let's fix that roof. So we got this kind of shed thing going. fun and we can jazz it up with uh, like um, making it seem more futuristic but for now let's just keep it like that and continue um, all right so let's see maybe let's do let's get like something like this uh, let's do Um, now I'm just playing again. <laughs> We're going to see if we can help out this thing. Uh, make this more of an interesting image. Maybe there's, uh, maybe there's something here. Thing with uh, abandoned cities, there's a lot you could do, you know, as far as what's what's there, what's destructed, why is it destructed, or why did they abandon it, you know? Um, Um, let's do hard light. 
I'm just going to juice this up a little bit. And see where this could go. And... So right now we're we're just helping out the mood and stuff. Um, so playing with the levels and things, doing a, uh, some global adjustments. Then we'll go in and keep painting. Um, actually, let's not do that, or let's let's get rid of that and put it more, I want that edge to be, yeah. Maybe, let's try that. You could light this planet different ways, you know? Um, so let's try, let's try that for now. Um, what else do we need? Let's go ahead and fog this out. You know what we could do? You did want an abandoned city, so I'm just putting that in there to remind myself later. Just kind of get some destruction on these buildings and stuff. There we go. Okay. And actually, you know what? Let's uh, let's play with the composition a little bit. Let's go ahead and take this guy. Get him over here. What happens if we... Ooh. This is where it gets fun, guys. <laughs> because perspective, you can always change that, you know? Um... This is just a sketch, and what do we do? Hmm. Could be good. I want to just show you, what if we did that, and then put this behind here, right? Okay, and then we put a wall here uh, let's just look at what this looks like okay the wall here gets oops and then change that so we're going here now 
I'm just gonna I'm just playing. Just playing, putting paint around, seeing where this could go. Actually, let's uh, That could be good. And then, what if there's like a, a dude here? <clears throat> oh gosh. Well, we'll just block him in for now. And you know, and then we kind of create stuff over here. He's lying against the wall here, and I don't know, I don't know. <laughs> Yeah, I agree. Um, maybe the other option is, is better. Let's see. More balanced kind of, of place versus doing something like that. Yeah, we'll go back. Sounds good. I feel like it's squished though. I feel like it's squished. Maybe there's guys here. Um, let's see. Let's bring this down. Sometimes you just need to... So we're just going to grab some colors from this photo here. Get some, some different palette in here. What you know what we need ground. Where are you? Did I do I not have it? Oh, that's good. No. Oh. Well, that's good too. See that? Okay. Yeah, the squish is nice. Good. <laughs> uh ooh, you know what? That gave me an idea. What if there's like just a whole, how am I going to do this? Now I'm just kind of creating some random stuff out here and thinking about maybe 
Um, getting some mist back there and stuff. So, uh, let's see. Uh, where's my this guy? Now these buildings back here would have some of that planet glow on them um, and bounce light, you know? Uh, so just kind of thinking about that. And this is a little bit too much fog back here. So let's take that down and There we go. Mm -hmm. Cool. Kind of like it how it's going. Maybe we'll spend just, you know, another 15 on it and uh, see if we can't get something that feels, feels good. I'm going to continue this roof up. And you know what'll help? There we go. Just creating some negative shapes. Negative space, rather, in these things to kind of indicate some rafters up there. Get them smaller. Help this place look bigger. All right. And, uh, oh, by the way, how's the audio, guys? Is it better? It should be louder since last time. I got a new microphone all hooked up. And, uh, let's make these square. Perfect, can hear you better. Awesome, that's great. Get our perspective back. Oops. So glad, it was hard to figure that out. Um, this is all, this is all pretty new to me. Let's go ahead and get this guy smaller. There we go. Okay. Well, let's see what else we can do here. Indicate a big building back there. I'm not really describing what this yellow fog is over here. Um, so I'm going to see if I can come up with some ideas for what, what this thing is over here. Um, one idea is maybe it's a I don't know an engine or something. We're just we're just gonna play a little bit and see. I don't know. This is tough when you have um, no plan and you're just sketching. So please understand, um, you know you could spend a day designing what this roof thing is uh, or what this uh, little compound area or garage area is. Um, you could flesh out the buildings. What we're, 
what I'm trying to achieve here is just kind of like a, a sense of the place. Like, does it read like a um, desolate, abandoned kind of post-apocalyptic city in space? Does it have that read? Does it have a little bit of a mood to it um, that makes you feel a certain way? Um, that kind of thing. So um, what I would typically do is if you get something like this, which is an impression of the place, uh, then dive into what is the shape language of these buildings, you know, um, what exactly happened here, um, what kind of forces caused this place to, to be destroyed and stuff, you know? Um, so those are the kind of things I would, I would typically do with a piece like this. Or, you know, after this. Um, but it's fun to see where we can go with it in a short time. So I'm just getting some clouds up here. And the smaller we get, it'll help the scale of this skyscraper here. We're going to just go behind it. And see how this looks. So someone in the chat in on Twitch is asking, do I have a favorite piece that I've ever done? That's a great question. Um. You know, I think, I think, um, in, I think in college, I did, uh, I did this piece, which I'll show you. Um, I did this one and um, I still keep it on my website just because it was such a impactful piece for me um, like before I did this I had done nothing like this before um, this was um, discovering what I could do if I really buckle down use all that I've learned up to that point and just create something um, from scratch so this, this started with two photos that I took on a trip. Um, one of them was in uh, Dubrovnik, Croatia. If you guys have ever been there, um, you might recognize some of this area from Dubrovnik um, and some of this structure here. There's a nice, like, awesome castle um, on, on a, like a mountain there with a little cove. And this is still part of the original photo. Um, on the left, this is the Isle of Capri uh, in Italy. And, um, but... You know, the only thing that is from that original photo is really just this part here. Um, but otherwise, all of this is kind of uh, painted um, and generated from other photos and things. And so it was really a, like just going all out and seeing, seeing what I could do. And this opened up um, opportunities for me and it was published a couple times and got out there and stuff. and. And so I'm really happy with it, but for the reason of it being just uh, the first time where I made something, I was like, oh, you know, this is so much fun, you know? Uh, I could be just doing this forever. So, um, yeah, I was hooked. I didn't know at that point whether I wanted to be an animator or a lighter, um, but uh, after that one, I knew I wanted to be a digital painter. Um, and you can do a lot with digital painting. So I've, I've done con concept art and matte painting and uh, art direction, and it all requires painting. So it all kind of started with that one. That's why I like it. It's a good one. 
<laughs> oh, thanks. I'm glad you guys like it too. <laughs> um, yeah, it was a fun one. All right, let's get some of this in here. Yeah, well, this, that wasn't too good. That's okay. I think we might call it on this one. I'm running out of <laughs> steam on trying to figure out this space. So, um, but it was sure fun to work on and see what it could do. And that's the thing with these sketches. It's just fun to kind of see where where it will go. What do you? What happens with it? And uh, we'll just hit a couple. Now I'm just kind of. When you look back here, get a read on some of this stuff. Um, oops. Okay, let's see. And we're just going to have some fun smudging. Just kind of finish it off. Because I don't have time to finish it all out, but what I can do is. Um, Get it in a place where it kind of works, you know. So, where it works enough to have you don't you're not missing anything from it. It has the same level of polish everywhere, um, which is a very sketchy place right now, but. Um, that makes sense. So we're just doing a last little adjustments to it. Um, and you know what? We forgot the stars. How could we forget the stars? <laughs> might help on our scale. So we'll just get a couple in there. What I like to do is sharpen them up too. And they pop better. There you go. Oops. Still on color dodge. Actually, let's go back to that color dodge. Oh, yeah. And where's my, there it is.
and let's do um, Sharpie. Take out, 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 take out,